I guarantee you that you will find this video very interesting. Okay. And at the same time, this rule of allegations is extremely important. So what is the rule of allegations? Suppose you have two type of varieties for a particular thing like there are two type of grapes the first grape on your left side and the second grape on the right side so there are two varieties of grapes and the grape present on the left side of the screen is expensive as compared to the right side so we call its price as the dearer price and we call it as cheaper price grape so we have dearer price grape and a cheaper price grape now suppose these two type of grapes are mixed in some kind of ratio okay and the resultant average price as per the ratio comes out to be something so we have the dearer price the cheaper price and the average price but we don't know the ratio in which they are mixed we don't know about their quantities right so as far as their ratio in which they are mixed is concerned that can be calculated okay so that is the rule of allegations. So we need to calculate the dear quantity and the cheaper quantity ratio. So how can it be done? It is a very simple rule. Drawing a diagonal arrow from dear price, cutting the average price. So that comes to be the dear price minus average price. Okay. So that gives the cheaper quantity ratio. And similarly, we cut a ratio or we cut a arrow average price and cheaper price so average price minus cheaper price will give the dearer quantity as far as the ratio is concerned so the resultant thing is the ratio of dearer quantity and cheaper quantity okay and in that ratio dearer quantity is determined by average price minus cheaper price while cheaper quantity is determined by dearer price minus average price so that is the rule of allegations just visualize this thing and you will always remember what is the rule of allegations it can be used to determine the ratio of the quantities okay the ratio of quantities of two different qualities of an item that is the rule of allegations let us further understand it with the help of a question so uh, you can still pause the video in order to memorize this uh, the next question is how many kilograms of wheat costing rupees 20 per kg must be made with 28 kilogram of wheat costing rupees 15 per kg so that the resulting mixture cost rupees 18 per kg so we have two different varieties of wheat and we know the cost of both type of wheats okay as well as we know the average cost what will happen on mixing them so we have the dearer and well as the cheaper type of wheat right so the cheaper is rupees 15 per kg and the dearer is rupees 20 per kg and the resulting mixture is costing rupees 18 per kg so just write uh, like that and we need to find out firstly the ratio of the quantities in which they are mixed so we get uh, the cheaper quantity ratio 20 minus 18 equal to 2 and we get the dearer thing as 18 minus 15 is equal to 3 so it means that 3 is to 2 is the resultant ratio in which they have to be mixed right and we know that uh, let us consider firstly the quantity of dearer wheat as 3x and the cheaper be 2x right and we know in that case that the cheaper quantity is 28 kg as given in the question so 2x equal to 28 kg it means x equal to 14 kg and therefore the quantity of dearer wheat is equal to 3x that is 42 kg that is the answer so it can simply be determined by finding out the ratio in which they are mixed uh, and that can be find out using the rule of allegations so that's the importance of rule of allegations let us see another question uh, total amount of rupees 204 was collected from boys and girls of a class of 150 students if each boy contributes rupee 1 and each girl contributes rupees 1.50 then find the number of girls in the class so we have the average as 204 upon 150 that is 34 by 25 that is the average contribution done by the entire class of 150 students so first of all we calculate the average now we have girls and then we have boys 
so the average contribution from a girl is 1.5 rupee while an average contribution from boy is 1 and we know the overall average of the entire class that is 34 by 25 okay so just like that we can find out the ratio of girl to boy right so for boy it is 1.5 minus 34 by 25 that is 7 by 50 and for girl it is 34 by 25 minus 1 and that comes out to be 9 by 25. So the ratio of girl to boy is 9 by 25 is to 7 by 50 or it can be written as 18 is to 7 girl to boy ratio. Okay so we can consider girls are 18x and boys as 7x. And we know the total students are 150, so 25x equal to 150. It means x equal to 6. So therefore, girls and boys can be determined. Boys are 7x, that is 7 into 6 equal to 42. And girls are 18x equal to 18 into 6 equal to 108. So that's how simple it becomes using the rule of allegations. I believe you have liked the video, right? You have really appreciated our effort. So just do hit the like button. And in order to get more such videos